right, guys, let's shoot this. This season is very much about choice. If you can be anything, who will you be? When I read the first episode, it was like, what? The world is not the same. The hosts are literally off their loops. They understand that there's a difference between them and the humans. The question is how they can survive. It's crazy in the greatest possible creative way. The rabbit holes that we knew from season one had babies. Those babies build more rabbit holes. We've just scratched the surface on season one. The first season, our hosts didn't understand the nature of their reality. They don't have an element of choice. And that changes with the pull of a trigger. And now, this season, the park is thrust into chaos. Nobody knows what's happening. The whole park is in danger. The man in black realized we're all just kind of pawns in the game. So now he's got a different idea. We continue questioning our reality and discover that there are possibilities beyond the possibilities. Oh my God. The hosts make conscious choices for the first time. That great feeling of free will, we can be whoever we want now. Dolores is on a mission. She wants something real and she wants to be free. She's ruthless, brutal, and absolutely terrifying. There was a new kind of geography. There's an oddity to the landscape. Sand meets rock meets green. Westworld was huge, but now we're discovering are there other worlds? As the hosts begin now exploring their own world, we wanted to feel the textures shifting and changing. It's an enormous challenge putting the show together. We have the great fortune of having one of the best crews, one of the best casts in the business. Every day I walk in and I take what they've written and try to physicalize it. It is all built. This year, I think we're gonna be over like two or 300 sets. You didn't want the clothes to be historically correct. You still wanted to have that amusement park look to it. It's always fun to see how we can use VFX to help flesh out the story, the vision, the world. We're telling a story of an origin of a new species. It's going to be messy. It's going to be bloody. The robots are a metaphor for humanity at its purest. I think everybody says, oh, robots, they're the ones that are programmable. But humans are really quite programmable. We are really creatures in loops that are hard to break out of, and they're not necessarily loops that we ourselves constructed. In a sense, we're the robots. The one key distinction between the hosts and the humans is what's in here.